I just stopped to take my rain jacket off. Had two leeches on me. One was like that big. A lot of things I can handle. Leeches. Not today. Now I feel like they're all over me. As you can tell by that snippet from the Great Ocean Walk, leeches, not a fan. In today's video, I'm going to specifically be talking about what do you do when you have a leech on you. While leeches are not necessarily dangerous, they're just something to look out for as a hiker. They don't just exist in our waterways, they can be found in the damp grass along the trail. You can also find them in the grass at your campsite. Leeches are also pretty sneaky too. You might think that you've covered yourself up, but they always seem to find a way in. The leeches that I found on me in that previous clip, I found them underneath my gaiters. So firstly, I think it's important to understand what exactly is happening when a leech is on you. Leeches can stick to you with either end of their body, but only one of those ends is the mouth. And typically, that will be the thinner end. When a leech bites you, it won't be painful, but you might notice a lot of blood. And that's because leeches have an anticoagulant in their saliva, which stops your blood from clotting. I used to think that there were a number of ways to remove leeches until I found out that if you remove a leech the wrong way, there is the potential for two things to happen. One, the mouth of the leech can detach and get stuck in you. Or two, the leech has the potential to regurgitate back into you. Both of these things can cause the risk of infection. So that kind of throws out some of the main methods that we think of when removing leeches because it causes stress on the leech. I'm still going to mention these methods, but please keep in mind that they are not recommended. Method one, not recommended, salt. Now this is probably the most commonly known method. If you sprinkle salt onto a leech, its body will start to burn, dry out, and they will drop off. Method two, not recommended a lighter. If you're hiking, you probably have a lighter handy. You are meant to hold the flame of the lighter close to its body and they will sense the heat and drop off. Method three, not recommended, a match. So similar to the lighter, you essentially light a match, blow it out and then hold the warm match on the underside of its body. But just to reiterate, these are more like myths rather than correct ways to remove a leech. It causes the leech a lot of stress and particularly if you're using salt, you're essentially killing the leech. So the following two methods are the recommended ways to remove a leech. Method four, let it fall off. This is arguably the best way to remove a leech. Let the leech do its thing and when it's finished, it will drop off by itself. Whether you have the patience for that is another thing. Method five, a thin object. This is the method that makes the most sense to me. You find a thin, hard object like a credit card or a knife, even the back of your fingernail, and you slowly slide that object underneath the leech until it lets go. I always seem to be the one that gets a leech on me whenever I'm in a group situation. So maybe as a preventative measure, you can just come hiking with me and I will take one for the team. But I hope that gives you a little bit of an insight about what to do next time you have a leech on you. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.